What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So in last week's video, I talked about a script that I wrote to help me solve a problem that I was facing at my job. But I also talked about how I really, really wanted to start getting into PowerShell scripting and I, want, I wanted to start using it as my Swiss Army knife for every situation that I face um, that can easily and efficiently be solved by PowerShell. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about three books. Three books that I'm using to allow me to really, really become much more proficient at PowerShell scripting. But not only that, um, I'm gonna talk about a book that I'm using as well to allow me to take a step back and relearn a lot of the concept that I've learned at uh, my job or my previous job, because a lot of things that I know about PowerShell are things that I've learned so far on the job. So I'm gonna talk about one book that's gonna allow me to take a step back and relearn a lot of those concept. And I'm gonna talk another, about another book that is um, going to focus on PowerShell scripting and learning a lot of the things about PowerShell scripting. And, and, and then another book that focuses on lab and um, hands-on kind of uh, scripting practice. So let's roll the intro clip. And when we come back, we're going to talk all about it. Let's go. Okay guys, welcome back, welcome back. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification. If you do like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you have any question or any comment about some of the books that I can read, uh, make sure you hit the comment box below and let us know. That will help myself and other people watching this video as well that are trying to get into partial scripting. With that being said, let's get into the book review. So the first book on the list is uh, this guy right here. I was gonna bring up the wrong book actually. Actually, that is the wrong book. <laughs> it's, it's this guy right here. So this is the first book on the list. Um, it is the Learn Power Show in a Month of Lunches. I love the Month of Lunches series because they're really, really good. They're really short and to the point, but not only that, after every chapter, you get a lab that you can do to really help you understand the concept. I really love them. A lot of the things that I'm learning, whether it is like, let's say IIS or something else or MSQL, MySQL, I always use the month of lunches. Uh, they go in depth to a certain degree, uh, but they don't go too in depth. They just kind of really help you understand the fundamental things that you have to understand to get you going. And they're pretty short too, so you can't complain about that. Anyways, that's beside the point. The first book on the list is this guy right here. The reason why I started with this book is because as I said earlier in the intro, I wanted to take a step back to really, really relearn a lot of the fundamentals of PowerShell because a lot of the things that I've learned about PowerShell so far are things that I've learned at the job. And I don't feel like they were enough for me to really, really understand a lot of the technical and a lot of like hard concept that I needed to understand to move on to scripting. So I figured like, okay, let me take a step back and let me learn a lot of the basic, a lot of the fundamentals and relearn them all over again to really get a really good grasp at the fundamental before going deep and diving into scripting. And that's where this book comes in. This book is great. It teaches you about the fundamentals, the things that you need to know, the concept that you need to understand about PowerShell. And I love it because as I said, the month of lunch is series. After every chapter, there's a lab uh, that you can do, uh, get turn on the computer, install the things that you need to install, do the lab to help you better, better understand the concepts that you need to understand. So first on the list is this guy right here, learn Windows PowerShell in the month of lunches. The second one on the list, and I really recommend that after, I really recommend the second book after this book, if you really want to get back to the fundamentals before getting into scripting. Uh, with that being said, the second book on the list is this guy. This is another uh, in a month of lunches series. As I say, I love the month of lunches series. A lot of the books that I'm gonna recommend here are gonna be in the month of lunches series because I love them. They're short to the point. Yada, yada, yada. I've said that before. <laughs> well, you get the point. Um, so this one is Learn PowerShell Scripting in a Month of Lunches. Very similar to this guy, but the, wherein this one is teaching you the fundamental. This book already um, expect you to know a lot of the fundamentals, a lot of the basic stuff before coming into this book. This book teaches you a lot about to the scripting aspect, the tools that you can use for scripting, what you need to understand about scripting, and a lot of the core concept that you need to understand about scripting. So I would say right after this book, 
you want to go into this guy right here. If scripting is something that you want to get into, you definitely want to go into this guy and it's going to teach you a lot of the fundamentals, a lot of the starting points that you need to understand about scripting. I actually just finished this book, um, this guy right here, because I take my time, even though they're pretty small, I try to take my time to read them and do the lab because I don't just want to like, just kind of read, 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 and I'm done. Uh, especially, especially the fact that it's a concept that I'm really trying to understand and really become good at. So I took my time to kind of read this book. So I just finished this guy and I just started this guy. Um, and again, really, really great books. Uh, this two book right here, teaches you the fundamental, teaches you the fundamental of scripting, teaches you the fundamental of PowerShell, teaches you the fundamental of PowerShell scripting. Really good. Really good. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm loving it so far. Great book to pick up after the learn um, PowerShell, PowerShell in the month of lunches. This is the next step forward if you really want to get into scripting. The last book on the list is this guy right here. This is the PowerShell for sysadmin. I haven't started this guy yet, but the reason why I got this book is because it has a lot of hands-on practice, a lot of hands-on labs that you can do to really, really get you scripting, to really, really get your hands in there, to really, really get you in there and start doing a hands-on lab that will really help you understand a lot of the concept that you learn from that you've learned from those two books. It has a lot of the things that system admin do on a day-to-day -day basis. It talks about how to script those things. So for example, my first first job that I um, had as an IT person, as an IT professional, IT technician, we used to do a lot of the manual labor where we will create a user, add a user to a specific uh, uh, group in Active Directory and do all those other things that we used to do. When this book talks about how do you script that from scratch? That's just one example, but it talks about how you script like the whole onboarding process from scratch and make it so much more easier to onboard user. And that's what I love about this book because it's gonna allow me to get that hands-on. It's gonna allow me to understand how to script a lot of the things that system admins do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Uh, that's great because that's what you need. After you've learned something, you definitely want to get the hands-on. And this is the book that I'm going to say, I haven't studied it yet, but this is the book that I'm going to use to kind of get that hands on. And I'm hoping to find more and more books like this one when it's focused around a specific um, project. And then you can do those projects to get more hands on into PowerShell scripting. So as far as um, hands on and things like that go and some of the things that I need to do to really become good and practice uh, PowerShell scripting, it's definitely going to be this guy right here. So that's pretty much the three books that I'm going to be using or that I've been using to try to get really into PowerShell. I've been watching some videos as well. Um, maybe I'll talk about that in some other time, but I'm also planning to buy more books, more reference books, more other books and things like that to really, really become really good at PowerShell scripting. Um, also for you guys that are really, really like, kind of like a pro of PowerShell script. And if you have any recommendation, if you want to leave a comment in the comment box below, feel free to do so. As I said earlier, it will help myself and other people watching this video as well. But as far as the video go, guys, this video is a pretty short one and I really wanted to make it short. I, know, <laughs> I wasn't trying to make it too long. As far as the video go, these are the three books that I'm using so far when it comes to PowerShell script and all right, again, you want to go in an order, you go with this guy first to allow you to understand the fundamentals. You go with this guy, I would expect you to already understand the fundamentals. And then you go with this guy, which is hands-on. Now, this guy talks about the fundamentals too, but it doesn't go too in-depth into it. It expects you to understand some of those things, right? So definitely um, this one for hands-on lab. Again, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it for me on this video. And if you haven't done so already and this video has helped you out in some way, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment in the comment box below if you have any question. Again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. And as always, do not forget to stay geeking. Peace.